Welcome to High Performance Copywriting. This is Kevin Sembrat. Hey my friend, it's Kevin. And today I want to talk with you about the four P's formula for persuasive direct response copywriting. And then, for the first time ever, I'll introduce the five Pro P's formula for persuasive copywriting. The four P's formula outlines a well-known writing structure summarized by four P words that, when applied properly, can provide very persuasive and compelling copy for impressive results from written, video, and audio content. You know, the kind of copy desired in your own high-performance copywriting. The four P words of the four P's formula are promise, picture, proof, and push. Many modern copywriters have come to prefer the four P's of promise, picture, proof, push in place of another copywriting structure known as ADA for attention, interest, desire, action, which over the decades has become well known and preferred by traditional copywriters from the early days of mass media advertising. The four P's formula helps your writing become more persuasive instead of manipulative by reflecting and understanding that persuasion is straightforward for a high quality product or service when a properly targeted prospect is identified and then provided with the knowledge and tools that enable the prospect to appreciate the relevance of the product or service to her own identified fear or desire. Ada is referenced herein and discussed in more detail in other articles. For now, let's take a look at each P word of the four P's formula. Number one, promise. The four P's formula begins by making a promise to your prospect. But don't just make a promise, proclaim it. Put it out there. Grab your prospect's attention. It is important to note that the promise you make or proclaim should grab your prospect's attentions and hook your prospect with interest in an idea that instantly engages her with your content. So how do you grab your prospect's attention so you can then hook your prospect with interest, you ask? Well, before even writing the first word of copy, you should research your ideal prospect and attempt to identify a fear or desire that she has. You know, something that she struggles with or daydreams about. Since the best identified fear or desire is typically near and dear to your prospect's emotions, and perhaps even her soul, you present her identified fear or desire immediately in order to grab her attention. Then, while you have your prospect's attention, hook your prospect by flowing right into proclaiming your promise. When you proclaim your promise, clearly tell your prospect the benefits provided by your product or service that will eliminate her fear or enhance her desire. Now your prospect is hooked with interest and wants to learn more. Note that at this stage with your promise, you just want to hook your prospect by grabbing her attention and immediately proclaiming your promise about the benefits you have for the prospect. Remember the well-known sales joke, everyone's favorite radio station is WIIFM. What's in it for me? That joke intends to convey that your prospect will consider your proclaimed promise from the perspective of WIIFM. As such, when you proclaim your promise, don't spend time describing much about the problem or the features of the product. Instead, just promise how the prospect will benefit from eliminating her fear or enhancing her desire. With the promise, you merely want to hook your prospect so that you can then help her ultimately envision herself benefiting from your proclaimed promise. That envisioning comes in the picture stage to follow. Your promise is best proclaimed with an attention-grabbing headline that flows immediately into your opening. If necessary, maybe even consider including an elaborating subhead. 
Many copywriters consider effective application of your proclaimed promise as the most important element of your copy. At this critical stage, if your promise fails to hook your prospect and she disengages from your message, even the best of the remainder of your copy cannot persuade your prospect if she does not read or hear it. Number two, picture. Once your prospect is hooked and wants to learn more, provide a picture as intense and powerful as possible, thereby to engender more interest and desire within your prospect. The more intense and powerful your picture becomes, the more persuasive your copy becomes. Ideally, you want to intensify and solidify your prospect's desire for your proclaimed promise. Therefore, provide a picture that is so vivid that your prospect can do nothing but envision herself reaping the benefits of your promise. As such, use language as spirited, animated, and passionate as possible to provide a picture that seeks to elicit deep-seated internal emotions from it within your prospect as she envisions herself benefiting from your promise. The deeper seated the internal emotion that your language elicits from within your prospect, the more persuasive your copy becomes. Number three, proof. To keep your prospect hooked, produce proof that validates your proclaimed promise and provided picture. Thus far, you've adeptly stimulated your prospect's emotions and piqued her desire. Now you must produce proof that appeals to your prospect's logical mind to validate her stimulated emotions and piqued to desire. Otherwise, your prospect's logical side may succeed first in reversing your efforts. Therefore, at this produce proof stage, merely saying something without proof is not enough to appeal to the logic in your prospect, and attempting such merely saying may even undermine your prospect's faith in your credibility. As such, you must actually produce proof that proves to your prospect's own satisfaction that the promise and picture is true. To effectively produce proof, seek to build credibility with explicit details such as numbers, like statistics, percentages, dates, dollar amounts, graphs, and or charts, or third-party facts like names of people or companies, or testimonials and stories like case studies, successes, and or demonstrations confirming that the features of your product actually do deliver the benefits you've promised. Number four, push. If all has gone well within the prior three stages of promise, picture, proof, you've actually made it, along with your prospect, to the push stage, which is similar to the action stage of ADA. Bear in mind that the P word push is not intended to have the negative connotation of coercing or bullying your prospect into a sale against her will. You already know that such negative type sales never build the credibility or long-term business relationship that is desired with perf high performance copywriting. Rather, push is merely the P word in the four piece formula that is intended to remind you that an important aspect of all persuasive direct response copywriting is to ask for the sale, also commonly known as the call to action or CTA. After successfully shepherding your prospect through the prior three stages of promise, picture, proof, at this final push stage, you want to be certain to follow through. Propose a push. Your push proposal should serve to help your prospect by attempting to connect the dots of the prior three stages and drive home the fact that your promise actually does benefit your prospect in the ways that you have already pictured and proven for your prospect. 
If so, then gently ask for the sale by proposing a push that clearly tells your prospect what you want her to do and be certain to make it easy for her to take action with a no risk guarantee to her for taking action. That way, with a correctly applied 4Ps formula, your prospect will be ready to take action and will actually take the action you've proposed. Now let's introduce the five pro piece formula for persuasive copywriting. In the four stages discussed above, you've proclaimed a promise, provided a picture, produced proof, and proposed your push. Therefore, when presented in this new and creative way, you can easily see a unique modification of the four P's formula with the addition of four unique pro-prefixed verbs, namely proclaimed, provided, produced, and proposed. As such, for the first time, this unique modification, introduced herein as the five pro P's formula, provides additional action-oriented description in a creative but succinct way that efficiently enhances learning and recall of both the original 4Ps formula and this newly introduced 5 Pro Ps formula. Oh, and as an additional bonus, a fifth Pro P, namely Propel Prospect, in the direction you've pushed, is included that emphasizes the persuasiveness provided in your copywriting by successful application of the five Pro P's formula. You can see the comparison of the four P's formula to the five Pro P's formula, wherein promise becomes proclaim promise. Picture becomes provide picture. Proof becomes produce proof. Push becomes propose push. And propel prospect is new and stands on its own as the fifth pro P. Coming close to the end now. The writing structure of the 4Ps formula provides a framework to follow for increasing the persuasiveness of your direct response copywriting. To enhance learning and recall of this useful framework, introduced herein is a modification of the 4Ps formula to create the 5 Pro Ps formula for persuasive copywriting, which specifies Number one, proclaim promise. Number two, provide picture. Number three, produce proof. Number four, propose push. And number five, propel prospect. A bonus fifth pro P that highlights the persuasiveness provided by successful application of this useful framework. You can read more about the five pro P's formula for persuasive copywriting in my article entitled, The Five Pro P's Formula for Persuasive Copywriting, Breaking It Down. Equipped with this framework, your writing can be more persuasive, not because your writing is more manipulative, but because your writing better reflects an understanding that persuasion is straightforward for a high quality product or service when a properly targeted prospect is identified and then provided with the knowledge and tools that enable the prospect to appreciate the relevance of the product or service to her own identified fear or desire. Hopefully you will be able to make effective use of the original 4Ps formula as well as the newly introduced 5 Pro Ps formula to increase the persuasiveness of your direct response copywriting for many years to come. Want to learn more? Click highperformancecopywriting.com to contact me and to learn more about how your website copy could be tweaked to more effectively convey your message such that more customers buy your product or service. And please like and share your comments below.